I mean, in this movie, you kind of feel bad for the guy <laughs> a little bit. Like he's trying to date the girl that dated like essentially a god for mm. ten five thousand years. It's a it's all, a tough one. All dating someone who dated Richard Madden. <laughs> Your role in this movie, Dane Whitman, he's an average guy. He works in a museum. He likes a girl. He likes poetry. But in sort of we find out eventually that there is a little more to him than that. How is his world sort of explained to you? Pretty much what you just said. That <laughs> honestly is kind of what was explained to me other than, you know, when it was sent to me that, that there was this idea that, you know, he, he might go on and be this character. If you look on the Internet, you can see what character mm-hmm. he might be. In this, he's representative of humanity that he is a a nice guy, that he's Cersei's boyfriend at the top. And that um, that's kind of what there is. And what you see on the paper is what you get. So I didn't join up just for that character. I joined up with the idea that what I read on the internet might come to pass at some point post this movie. And that's what I hope. And I think that if it does, that character has got some really really cool stuff about him yeah i mean in this movie you kind of feel bad for the guy (laughs) a little bit like he's trying to date the girl that dated like essentially a god for Mm. 10 5,000 years it's a it's a tough one dating someone who dated richard madden (laughs) it was a funny moment i think for people on set and also people watching this to see two people you know from an entirely different universe step into a into this one in the, in contemporary clothes. And so I can see the fascination, but for me and Richard were just two actors turning up and doing a, doing a yeah. job. You were on another show that had a big fandom, <laughs> Game of Thrones, and Marvel obviously has a huge fandom. Like there's, you know, the premiere last night was lined with people in costumes mm. and all this sort of stuff. Um, was that something you had to consider when you were taking this role? Like, can I go through another, <laughs> can I handle like another, the scrutiny of like a massive fandom? I don't go on the internet and look at the scrutiny of things. I just Mm -hmm. don't do it. I learned that from Thrones. I don't do it. So what I see of the fandom, uh, you know, of these fandoms, is I get to turn up like last night. I see people in amazing cosplay, and they're the nicest people, and they're sweet, and they're lovely, and they're very passionate about, uh, in this case, the MCU and this new movie coming out. Um. So genuinely, it's not, it doesn't feel like a kind of daunting, you know, also I got a lot of experience at it. I went through this for eight years, so I know uh, what being part of something that has a passionate fan base like this is about. And in many ways, the last couple of years since Thrones finished, there's a part of it I miss. So being part of this is, is, uh, is filling a little <laughs> hole somewhere, I think. But aren't you tired of keeping secrets? <laughs> like, does that ever get tiring? Like, you can't tell your family... Like, oh, here's, here's what fam- I did at work I today. my family, everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it depends how extended that family gets, maybe. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, it's only, it's only tiring um, in as much when you're, when people are trying to trip you up about it and stuff, like, then it gets a bit wearing because you're like, you know, I know, you know, I can't say things about X, Y, and Z. So let's not kind of go down that path. But um, no, I, I don't. I don't think it's 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 tiring. It's quite a fun game at times. Last question. Is there an Eternal that you would aspire to be more like? I like Fastos in this movie. I like his arc. I like um, his humanity that comes with his Eternal's nature. He seems like almost the most human out of them in some ways when you see his little domestic situ- situation. Mm-hmm. And he seems like a good person. I, I, I liked him. <laughs> 